Don't believe the hype, because as Flava Flav knows with his restaurant business, things don't always go as planned. Could this lightweight sports car really deliver on all its promises? miles per gallon, which is not bad in a dedicated sports car. The interior also isn't all that great. The fit and finish to use, it could really use a shot of style in here. It looks really dated. And while I'm at it, the sight lines for the over your shoulder blind spots are fold so flat because they're pretty useless for passengers. When they are down, this car becomes a fairly practical two-seater with a ton of cargo storage. Race tires. With the exterior, I really only have one issue, and that has to do with the back end. The exhaust cutouts are way too large for the Either make the cutouts smaller or make the tips far larger. And while you're at it, how about a little more sound out of the back end? The FRS really is all it would call that. Cost this little. It's not a super sports car ready to trade paint with the likes of Corvettes, GTRs, or 911s. Bit fun machine. It is not fast, but highly entertaining. I dare you to take one on a track, beat on it all day, and not come away with a f to the hype. won our inaugural Car of the Year award, and one of our editors even bought one for himself. But like I said at the start, it's easy to see this car for what it really is. All right, let's start with things I like. First and foremost, there's the steering. No other vehicle anywhere near there does. It is so direct and so accurate, it makes even the most boring drive fun. And then there's the chassis. It's not exactly mine. It's like drifts on demand with this car, which is just way too much fun. I also like the tires. Yes, the pre -applied. Too much grip, and it allows this car to slide around, which is half the fun of the FRS. The front seats are also great. They're perfectly designed for skinny purses. They're not that comfortable during long distance driving. Okay, so things I don't like. Let's start with this 2-liter engine. It's horsepower. And 151 pound-feet of torque. It's underpowered for a nearly 2,800 pound sports coupe. This car could really use a little boost under the hood.